Today we're talking about the Egyptian Mao cat breed. Want to find out what they're all about? Coming up! Hi there and welcome to my Cat Crazy channel. Today I want to tell you a little bit about the Egyptian Mao cat breed. The Egyptian Mao is one of the, if not the fastest of the domestic cats with its longer hind legs and unique flap of skin extending from the flank to the back knee, uh, which assists in running by allowing the legs to stretch back farther, providing for greater agility and length of stride. Maus, regarded as the greyhounds among cats, can run faster than 30 miles per hour and are able to leap up to 6 feet in the air from a standing position. Okay. Egyptian Maus have a wedge-shaped head and a muscular body with a smooth, short-haired coat that comes in bronze, silver or smoke beneath their spots. Anything else I can say about the looks of this beautiful breed? Oh yes, they come with gorgeous gooseberry green eyes. Now let's talk about their traits. The Egyptian Mao is very inquisitive and highly intelligent, which means they master tricks easily. They also are capable of making different sounds with their melodious voice. They are very loyal and devoted to their pet parents and would even uh, greet you at the door when you come home. However, most of them would like to be the one and only cat. So they might not like it if you have other animals around that you pay attention to. They are ideal for families with children or singles with no other pets. They are ideal for families with children or singles with no other pets as long as everybody in the family is respecting their rule. All four on the floor, which means all four feet on the ground. They don't really like to be picked up or placed on your lap. They seem to like warmer temperatures even more than other cats, so definitely get that heating pad ready. Who or what is CC Copycat? A new printer? The first cloned cat? A cat that is doing everything you do? An actress? And here's the answer to the quiz of the day. CC for copycat or carbon copy was born in 2001 and lived a good long 19 years. She was the world's first cloned pet. She served as a sort of living science experiment as scientists watched her grow up. Aside from her history-making birth, she was a perfectly ordinary cat who had kittens the old-fashioned way. Okay, Sebastian, so can cats cry or mourn? Yes, they can and they can get very depressed. My friend Professor Jario Schiffner from Switzerland examines the morning of cats during this active time as a vet. And yes, a lot of playmates can trigger mourning. Even worse, when their beloved can open a pet parent passes away, they start to retreat, don't eat well, and uh, can get depressed. It is very important to have the little fun hoses in those cases. So if their caregiver passes away, it is essential to give some of their used clothing to the new adopting family yeah. so, <laughs> so that there is still some kind of uh, anchor to kitty's prior life and routine. Yeah. I was able to help uh, one of my clients and this um, new boy with a simple tip. And of course, what's neat uh, then is patience and love. Patience and love and instinct since cats can be very sensitive. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for letting me know. This was a question by Drew Barnes from Sand Rope Orientals Cattery. So thank you, Drew, for asking this question. Okay, um, Sebastian, well, see you next time. <laughs> Bye. If you like this video and would like to see more, then please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't done that already. Give us a pause up and share with your friends. Thank you so much for your support and I hope to see you again next Tuesday. And don't forget, 
cats rule and so do you. 